2018 will mark Russia's 11th appearance in the FIFA World Cup finals. And here to share his memories of the team's 1966 campaign is Vladimir Ponomaryov. During the 1960s, Vladimir Ponomaryov was an established member of the Soviet national team. Along with his teammates, the defender had high expectations heading into the FIFA World Cup finals in England. European champions in 1960, the USSR were drawn in a tough group with Italy, Chile and Korea DPR, who they faced in their opening game. They were a mystery. We had no idea how they played. It was impossible to watch any of their games before the finals. That was just how it was with the Koreans. I remember before the match, our coach, Nikolai Morosov, said to us, guys, you know I have some strange data about the Koreans. It says they all run the 100 meters in 10 seconds. How can this be? We told him, come on, coach, drop it. Don't pay attention to it. It's nonsense. No one can run that fast. Even though they were a big unknown, we were confident heading into the game. And their confidence was rewarded with a clinical 3-0 victory. After we beat Italy in our second match to progress to the quarter-finals, the Koreans were afraid that we might take it easy in our final game against Chile. The Koreans needed us to win to stand a chance of progressing themselves. Coach Morosov reassured them that, that this wouldn't be the case. He calmed them down and told them that we wanted to win and maintain our 100% record. The Chileans were a good team, but as history shows, we won. Our coach was right, and I think the Koreans were very happy. After topping their group, the USSR faced a talented Hungary in the quarter-finals. We were the underdogs in that game. Hungary had beaten Brazil 2-1 in the group stage. Everyone in the Soviet Union was sure we would lose because they'd beaten Brazil. We had no pressure on us heading into that game. Nobody thought we had a chance. But the underdogs had their day, securing a two-on victory to book a place in their first FIFA World Cup semi-final. After the Hungary match, the coach got us together. He said to us, thank you guys, you've done a great job. I don't think anybody will be able to come close to this result for 50 years. I think this was a big mistake on his part. Everyone relax. I can honestly say we lost focus. Subsequent defeats to West Germany in the semi-final and Portugal in the match for third place meant the USSR finished fourth. But almost 50 years on, as Morozov predicted, the exploits of Vladimir Ponomaryov and co remain the country's best ever FIFA World Cup showing. I can tell you that I still have dreams about the World Cup today. I wake up in a cold sweat. The World Cup was very stressful, but it left such an impression on me. It was an unbelievable experience and one I will always remember.